I'm involved in a long distance relationship. He lives in Boston, I live in New York. I fly up there one week in a month and he flies down to New York whenever he feels like it. Okay, that's not fair. He usually flies down a few days a month too. It's just, I'm so annoyed with him. Here's why. I could move up there. I've been offered a job, a good one. Not that I'm crazy about Boston. Everybody up there is very snooty. And every time you drive around the corner to get milk, you get hopelessly lost and end up in Marblehead or somewhere. And people have to send out search parties and then those search parties get lost. And anyways, there aren't even any good clothing stores or nightclubs. But I love him. And if we can live together, I could get used to ending up in Marblehead incessantly and ordering all of my clothes from catalogs. Guess what? I bet you already have. He doesn't want me to move up there. It's so sickening. I actually puked a few times last night. But he doesn't tell me, I don't want you up here, Clarice. No. He tells me his place is too small. We'll move, I say. Now's not a good time, he says. The real estate market is so bad, he would take a bath if he sold this place. So I point out, if the market's bad, it's bad for everybody, not just you, you moron. And since everybody's taking a bath, you can get a place real cheap and that could cancel out the bath you think you'll take. You don't understand anything, he tells me. I understand everything. How about if I get my own place near you, I say. Oh, that would be interesting, he tells me. But do you want me to, I ask him. <laughs> that would be kind of nice, he says. Could you just tell me I want you to or I don't want you to. Oh, oh, I gotta go, the doorbell's ringing. But wait. And he has already hung up the phone on me. And the doorbell has been ringing several times in the past few weeks. So listen, this man loves me. I know he does. So what is he doing? I can't believe it. I thought he'd be so thrilled. He hates me. 